Allah who praises him. Subhanallah, same thing. Okay? By the way, you're a Christian brother? Muslim? Who are you? It's me. Of course you are. What's your name? Toby. Toby, nice to meet you. My name is Shamsi Toby. How are you? Where are you from? Nigeria. Nigeria, yes. Are you Nigerian? I'm Algerian. You know there's uh, the African Cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you watching it, yeah? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so, so, so you believe in God? No, I don't. I'm agnostic. But you believe without any doubt. I mean, when you when you reflect upon the creation and upon even your own creation, yeah. that this creation must have a creator. It might do. It might. Or, it's not. It, 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 it is certain. You know why? An example of that. Look, yeah. an example of that. That the fact that we can see in our creation there is order, is programmed. Okay. For example, just a, a simple example to give you. Yeah. Top, yeah? yeah. A phone. Yeah. You know, I never, I, I never seen the one who made this phone. Okay. But when I open the phone and I see there is menu, there is a, a keyboard, uh, uh, there, uh, there is many. Uh, there's a camera yeah. that indicates this phone was created by someone who had knowledge. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Now let us, uh, let us analyze that. Okay, if I tell you the one who made this phone, he didn't know how to make the phone, would that be logical? No. No, he had to have knowledge. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. Now, okay, this person has a knowledge, but he doesn't have the ability to make a phone. Can he make a phone? No. You need what? Ability. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, he, he does have a knowledge, he does have ability, yeah. but he doesn't have an intended to make the phone. Can he make a phone? Uh, the intent, no, no. no, you have to have the intent. Yeah. So this is just on a smaller scale. Yeah. What is the biggest scale? Which is the universe. Yeah. That's why in the Quran, so Allah said in the Quran, Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa ikhtilafi layli wal nahari la ayatin li ul albab. Within the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of a day and night, it is a sign for people of understanding. What does it mean, a sign? A sign, for example, we go to central London. Mm -hmm. So you see a sign telling you, central London is this way. Yeah. So this creation is a sign pointing toward the Creator. That's why one of Allah, that's why we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allah is the Lord of Al Alameen. Al Alameen which is a plural for Al Alam, which is singular, mean a sign. Okay? So the fact that we see order, the fact that, look, we have a nose next to our mouth. Why? Before you eat, what do you do? You smell food. Yeah. So, so imagine, imagine, you nose or my nose or anyone knows here, was next to our anal. We, you can't leave. You can, you're gonna, you're gonna call, commit suicide. You see. So the one who puts it here indicates what is wise. We have what eyebrows above our eyes. Why? Because it's, uh, 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 sweat uh, contains salt. Mm. If the sweat keeps going to your eye, it will damage it. Mm. So the fact that there is eyebrows above our eyes, not below our toes, that indicate the one who made us is wise. We have a joint in our elbows. Why? In order for us to move our forearms back and forth, in order for us to give and take and eat. Mm. You understand? That's what Allah said in the Quran. Within yourselves, there is a science for Allah's existence. We do not reflect. You understand? So clearly, without any doubt, when you reflect upon the creation, must have a creator without any doubt. Like, I haven't seen the one who made this, mm. but, but just analyzing it, yeah. reflecting upon it, mm. you come to the conclusion it was made. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. It's a logical argument? Yeah. I can make it more stronger by telling you, look, Prophet Muhammad, okay? Yeah. Are you familiar with Jesus, Moses, yeah, Abraham? I've heard it, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not going to speak about them. What I'm going to do, speak about Prophet Muhammad, okay? Now, these Prophet, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah, all of them claimed they were chosen by God, okay? Mm -hmm. But when they made that claim, not just they back it, they back it up with the proofs. What is the proofs that they prophesize about the future? Even though they never met each other, they came with the same teaching. Mm -hmm. They worship one God, the God of Adam, the God of Abraham. Okay. Likewise, they came with the miracles. Okay. So if these guys or those guys, there were no more guys, how come none, none of us can bring what they brought? For example, let me ask you, mm. who knows the future in detail? Nobody does. Right? Except the Creator. Why? No one knows about this phone in detail except who? The one who made it. Yeah. Because yeah. before you make it, you have to have knowledge first. Mm -hmm. 
So the one who made this universe, he's the one who knows about the creation better than anyone else. Yeah. But now how come we know Prophet Muhammad, who lived 1400 years ago, he prophesied about the future. For example, he said, will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man competing in building tall buildings. When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that top, back in those days, the Arabs were not known to do that. Those who were known, the Persians, the Romans, the Egyptians, the Greeks. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you now, where is the tallest building in the world? Uh, I think it's... Uh, Dubai? Dubai? Yes, Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Dubai, yes. Yeah. So du Dubai is an, is an Arab Peninsula. Mm. Do you know who's competing with them now? Saudi. Mm -hmm. Saudi is building a taller. The question we ask ourselves, how men that lived 14... How men that lived 1400 years ago yeah. and knew about something is occurring right now? Mm. You see what I'm saying? Eh? The Shah, mm. tallest building in Europe, it's Qatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so the, uh, another one is what? Prophet Muhammad said there will come a time. And this prophecy is so powerful, to be honest. He said there will come a time that the Arabs, they will stop using camels as a riding beast. And they will use something as a box. As what? A box. And will carry them from their houses to the mosque with their wives. The question we ask ourselves, of course, Prophet Muhammad never said a car or a, tr or, or, or a truck or Mercedes, but the description, the Arab man, if the, generally speaking, the Arabs, they only use camels. And they call it what? They, they call the camel the ship of the desert, you know, because they can travel with the camel for a long time. Now we know that the, in the Arab world, Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait, yeah, Saudi, yeah, yeah. do not use camels anymore. Mainly they use what? Cars. Mm. So let us go back. Man that lived 1400 years ago, claim to be prophets of God, where do you get this information from? You know where? As Allah said in the Quran, Muhammad does not speak from his own desires. He speaks from the revelation. Yeah. He speaks from the revelation. Whatever God told him will happen. Another one, I will give you another, because why you have to understand top yeah? We as a Muslims, we don't believe Islam is a truth because we're just born Muslims. No, because we have a tangible proofs that God gave it to the Prophet Muhammad that we can share with everyone. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> that we can share with everyone to come to conclusion, Prophet Muhammad must be true prophet. Another one, Prophet Muhammad said there will come a time. Okay? Barakallah He said there will come a time when you see women dressed but naked at the same time. Person might say this contradiction. If they are dressed, they cannot be naked. Okay? But what we see now, the way the people dress. You with me? Oh, you mean like dressing? Of course, like... exposing everything, yeah. okay. you know? Mm -hmm. So now again, when the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that, it shows you that there's a signs of the hour. Mm -hmm. Mean, sometimes some prophecies doesn't mean it's bad or good. Sometimes mean it's good, sometimes mean it's bad. However, these prophecies indicate this man must be a prophet of God. I will give you another one as well. You're from Nigeria, there's a lot of Muslims there as well. Yeah, yeah. My teacher, my Arabic teacher is Nigerian. Okay. Yeah, I'm an Arab, but my teacher is a Nigerian, you know, an Arabic language. Yeah, yeah. Well, may Allah preserve him, Nordin. Yeah. You know, he's a Nigerian now, you know. Okay. So, Prophet Muhammad came with a Quran, a book called Quran. And this book, there's many miracles about it. One of them, that this book, Allah mentioned the Quran, this book, Allah uh, revealed this book in a way it be easy for people to memorize it. Mm -hmm. Okay? We know now, well, let me ask you this question, because yeah. I want you to interact yeah. with me. Yeah, sure. Is there any book, do you know any book, the size of the Quran, like thick like that? Mm -hmm. It has been memorized by hundred million of people who does not speak the language of the book. No, I don't think Let me make it clear yeah. to you. Imagine all of us here memorize the book in Chinese, but we don't speak Chinese. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The only book is the Quran. That's why the Quran, the way Allah preserved the Quran, Allah said, Bala huwa ayatun bayinatun fi suduri ladina utu im. Quran, it has been preserved and it's these distinct verses within the breast of those who have been given knowledge. That's why the Quran, since the time of Prophet Muhammad, it's been memorized by hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people. And what is amazing about the Quran, that sometimes you go to Africa, you go to Asia, you come to Europe, to America, Five years old, he knows Quran word by word, letter by letter. Mm. But if you speak to him in Arabic language, he doesn't know Arabic language. Mm. Maybe even if he speaks Arabic language, he will make mistakes in the pronunciation mm. or in the grammar. Mm. But when he reads the Quran, he reads it perfectly. Mm. 
Is that me? Is that, to make it clear, give me an example. I like to give examples. That is the way of the Quran. Because examples makes everything clearer. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. It's like basically, imagine you bring me a book, Shakespeare's poems, and I start reading it perfectly. Pronunciation, perfectly. Grammar, perfectly. Then you bring me English dictionary, reading it perfectly. So you think, Shamsi, you're a proper English man, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I say, when you start having a normal conversation with me, I say, me, me, no coming, me, no tomorrow. <laughs> then, no, no, you take it and make. You know how to speak English, you yeah. see? Because you just read Shakespeare's poem perfectly, English dictionary perfectly, now you start telling me, me, no coming, me, no tomorrow. You understand? So the Quran, when the people recite it perfectly, do you know why? Because the Quran is the word of Allah. Mm. As for when they speak a normal Arabic language, it's the human language. And again, how come this book, if, it was, if, if this book was written by just normal human being, where did he get that information that this book, many people will memorize it? That is the knowledge of the one who made the creation. What do you think was said so far to you? Does it make sense? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously uh, Muhammad. He's yeah. a very, very uh, intelligent guy. Very, he's very smart. Without any doubt. Very, um, very powerful. Because he to be able to convince a lot of people in the world that you know what his, his message is from God. Yeah. He must be a very powerful person. Very. Charis you know what? Charismatic. Yes. You to know what? To move people to be able to, you know, convince. Yeah. You know. Uh, Especially the people he came to, because people yeah. he came to, they used to bury their daughters alive. They used to believe if you have a daughter, that is out of, it's like, it's like shame. Mm -hmm. So they used to bury them alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he came, they, 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 he came to people, they used to wage a war for 40 years because of Kamul. He came and he changed them completely to start loving one another, like as their brothers. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. do you know why? Not because he was a smart man. Of course, Wassam was a smart man, mm -hmm. because he was a prophet of God. And no one can change people's hearts. Regardless how smart you are, how eloquent you are, to change people the way Prophet Muhammad changed the, 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 the people, it's, it was so powerful. Yeah, yeah. There's no empire spread the way Islamic spread. All the way, in, 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 not like in a small period, from Mecca all the way to China, to Africa, to Paris, mm. hundreds of people accepted Islam. Mm. Not any people, as even one of the Muslim scholars said, Ibn Qayyim, may Allah have mercy upon him, said not any people, intelligent people, smart people, mm. doctors and everything. Why? Because they knew what this man came with is a truth. You understand? Mm. So, what, like, we spoke about two things here. Mm. Or one thing. Yeah. Yeah. One that, look, this creation must have a creator, without any doubt. It's a logical argument which we cannot escape. You with me? I mean, everything you said about yeah. order, about the fact that everything is looks like there's a creator. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, everything looks in a way that you yeah. can't. You can. Yeah, it looks like that. But also. No, it looks. It does. But also, <laughs> there's a there's a lot of randomness as well that is also there in the world. And if you look at it, it it's hard to discount that. As randomness well. in what way? Because um, sometimes maybe you think it's randomness, but it's not. It follows, it follows order. It follows order. For example, our example, look. Yeah. Imagine now I got a bottle, yeah? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw the bottle like that. Mm. There is an order that this bottle mm. will follow regardless which, like, no way this bottle is going to turn to elephants. Mm. There is not going to happen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. There is order regardless, but because we think it's been, uh, for example, me throwing the bottle up in the sky, then it's coming down to different place, or it's coming down in different place. Yeah. It's not. Follow, it's still following the order. So the randomness I'm talking about yeah, cool. is like I could walk towards Marble Arch Station. Yeah. Because I want to go home. Yeah. And I'm, on my way, on my way, I meet a friend. I start talking to the friend. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to the friend, and then a girl walks past. I like her. And we start talking, we get married, we have four kids. You don't want to do that, bro. No, <laughs> so, it, it happens. It happens, though, right? No, that is not... So, a, go on, sorry. So, so yeah. what I'm saying is, if I didn't meet my friend on the way to Marble Arch Station, yeah. I, would never, I would never have had four kids. And there would not be four human beings, new human beings, mm. born in the world because I met my friend. But this, uh, you know, this oh, is... Is that, is, that, is that planned? Yeah, it's planned. Does, does, does God... Planets, yeah. Had he planned that? Yeah, because Allah mentioned so, that in the Quran. So, so if he plans that, yeah. that means 
everything is planned. Which means, if if I'm not born, yeah. and he knows I'm going to be born on this day, yeah. he knows what I'm going to do yeah. for the rest of my life. Yeah. Every action, every yeah. turn, yeah. every single moment of the day. Yes, correct. And he knows where I'm going to end up. Yeah. Hellfire. Yeah. Why does he? Why does he bring me into existence? Okay, that's all. So now you're talking about. Uh, uh, randomness, that is not randomness, that is a plan. There's two things God decree upon us, okay? Decree a plan for us. One, which you have no choice over. For example, walk in the streets, then you feel sick. You have no control over it. Yeah. But likewise, God gave us a free will. For example, now, imagine you walk in and someone comes to say, don't go this way. There is people cleaning each other with swords and guns and everything. Yeah. No one with a sound intellect will say, you know what? I think God planned it for me already, I'm going to get killed, I'm going to do it. Yeah. No one do that, see? Yeah. So you turn around and go somewhere else. Yeah. You turn around going somewhere else, God already knew it. So God knowing something that's going to happen, doesn't mean he forced you. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. For example, yeah. like that, I know you're going to go to Mabel Arts Station, for example. That it means just I'm a person who possesses knowledge of your action. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I forced you. Mm -hmm. Also, we believe God nothing that takes place in this universe except by God's permission, meaning God allows it. And in order for us to understand why God's doing that, okay, you have to understand the foundation. God already clarified to them that he created this creation for a purpose. Based upon his wisdom and his justice and his mercy, he created this creation, one of them, in order for us to be grateful to him, okay? The other thing is a test for us. The other thing, to recognize one another. Okay, so God, when He created us, He first of all has to understand something. We don't question God. Okay, you don't say God, why are you doing this, doing that? Because why? Some people have respect to Tobia. They want God according to their desires. No, I want God only. I question Him. No, God is our lead, is our master, is our is our creator. However, there is some issues which we can understand. For example, that God planning things for us doesn't not mean He's forcing us. You with me? Likewise. When God creates us, He knows what will happen to you and what will happen to me, but we don't know. So God is putting you on the earth, because what God could have done, create you like this and like, me, like, like that as well. Say so you go to hellfire, you go to paradise. And you say, I can't remember nothing, stuff like that. So this life, it will be, as Allah said in the Quran, our own limbs will be speaking against ourselves. Some people will try to deny, disbelieving God or doing crimes. God. He's all powerful, he will make your own limbs witness and guess you. So you go into meet someone outside the train station, all of that is a plan from God without any doubt, meaning Allah the credit that will happen to you. But now when you see the woman, so it was you up to you to get married to her or reject it. You understand? You with me? So God gave us a free will. Okay. That's why Allah said in the Quran, Wama Rabbuka bidallahi abid. Your Lord does not oppress his servants. Yeah, but he knew I was going to, he knew that I was going to marry this woman. Yeah, but he gave you free will for you to make the choice. choice. So either you got married to her, like imagine you never got married to her, God knew. But, but the, the free will is, is irrelevant, right? Because no, it is irrelevant, free will. Because he knows, regardless of the fact that I have free will, yeah. he knows the end result. He knows what, he knows what is going to happen. Yeah, but, uh, so what? it doesn't matter if I have a free will or not. No, it does. Why? For example, like that. Imagine I meet a woman, she's a murderer. Would you marry her? No, of course not. <laughs> but uh, why would you not marry her? No, because she's, she's a murderer, right? No, but why is allowing you to not marry her? Your yeah, free will. I yeah, I chose not to. Right? Uh, which is a free will. Yeah. Who gave you that? The creator. So the creator gave you free will to make choices, and the creator also gave you what? Intellect. That's why in Islam, if someone who doesn't have intellect, meaning someone who is crazy, God will not judge him if he does something evil. You understand? Because yeah. why? The faculty of God uh, that will judge us according to is our intellect, our brain. Mm. You see, God gave you intellect, so yeah. give you free will. Yeah. Now I just met this woman outside the station. How am I going to marry her? Doesn't make any sense. So, so now you have to, we have to understand that Allah decrees things, me, Allah creates everything. Okay? Allah allows things to take place in this creation in order what for the test to occur okay for the for your action to occur as well okay however god gave you free will in order for you what to choose or not one of the scholars called ibn taymiyyah a christian man said to him 
why God is going to judge me for something which he created me as a Christian? Mm. Okay? Ibn mm -hmm. Taymiyyah wrote a poem called Ta'iyya. Ta'iyya means, uh, uh, this poem finished with the, 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 the letter T. Okay? He said, one of his arguments said, no one here, if someone comes to rob you, he said, let me rob you. And I'll say, you know what? Don't complain because it got the planet. Would you accept that? No. You defend yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That, so, so you have to, whatever you do, God planned it. Like now, when I turn away from this woman who's a murderer, God already planned it. Understand? God decreed me, God knew it, created it, and allowed it. Mm. But God gave me what? Free will. I'll give you another example, which is clarify it. Mm. Then one of the Muslim leaders called Ibn Khattab. A man came to, they brought him a man who was a thief. And he said, you know, because you are harming the society, you are harming the people. In Islam, not any thief, someone who is a professional thief. Mm. Not someone who is hungry, took banana, we cut off his hand. No, 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 no. Someone who is professional, and there is many rules to it, yeah? Mm. But I just want to mention the story behind it. So he said to him, Oh, Omar, why are you going to cut off my hand for something which Allah already decreed upon me? You know what Omar said? He said, why are you blaming me for something which Allah already decreed upon me as well? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you see, so you want to use Allah's plan for your favor, I'm going to use it for my favor too, you understand? You with me? Yeah, yeah. Like, is it clear? Yeah, 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 I understand. So I'm saying, yeah, yeah. so what we are, because we are here already, mm -hmm. God created us, mm -hmm. so let us go make, make uh, uh, base, uh, best choices. Look, I'll make it clear to you, to show you that you are very rich. I'm going to show you. Imagine I said, Tab, I had, I'm having a very nice conversation with you. I really like you. You're a good man. You're a good man. I will give you two million pounds as a gift for me. What would you say to me at least? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, of course. Would you remember me all the time? Oh, 100%. Of course, yeah. Nigeria, two million, big money. Likewise, in Algeria, yeah. two million pounds? Bro, I go home, that's it. <laughs> you go out to Nigeria, shoot away. 100%. Nice house, Shamsi. <laughs> now, I will give you two million pounds on a condition, give me your two eyes. Oh, no. No, go. No. In it. I like the way you say, oh, no, no, without it. Because yeah. your two eyes is more valuable than yeah. two million pounds. Yeah. So why don't you be grateful and thankful to the one who gave you eyes for free? Uh, again, I'm, I'm very grateful for my eyes. I'm very grateful for my health. To who? Uh, just because I know what it, I've seen what it's like for people that don't have eyes. Of course. And I know, and I know that. It's, but to uh, whom you are grateful? To... To the one who no, made it. To, the, to, to, you know, to nature. Nature to, is not, it's not to, the one who gave you two eyes. Huh? Nature is not the one who gave you two eyes. But honestly, I don't know who gave me two eyes. The creator know? gave you two eyes, yeah, without but, any doubt. Yeah. Which is we agree that you must have, we must have a creator. So, you, yeah. Like, I'll give you an so example you, now. Sorry, take a yeah, yeah? Sure. Yeah. Now, who gave you life? Your mother and your father? Yes. Okay, let us analyze our, uh, this claim. Yes. Yeah, sure. Your mother, your father gave you life. Well, so yeah. therefore, yeah, therefore, so. your father and your mother possess the power to give life. No. Do you know? Do you know the proof for that? I guess so. I guess. Uh, no. Do you know the proof for that? When you die, yeah. Your mother and your father they will cry. If it was up to them to be in the first place to give life, they would have just you know what? We already possess the power. To, we already possess the power to give life. Mm. Who's gonna give you life again? To mm. show your father and your mother just a means. Mm. It's like me going to the switch and turning it on and the light comes on. I'm not the one who created the, light, the electricity. I'm just a means to turn the light yeah, on. Yeah, okay, so, that's, that, yeah. so, so the question, who created the electricity and the wires and everything? Mm. Not me. Yeah. I'm just a means. Yeah. Likewise, your father and your mother are just a means to bring you into existence. Mm. But there's someone out there who give a life. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Like I said, I'm an agnostic. You see what I'm saying? I, I can't say that it doesn't. Uh, a god does not exist. It's yeah, because, I understand that. Because, yeah. because it means I. It means it's, it's a belief. It's I a know. belief, of course. It's yeah. It's impossible. Because but but it makes sense. There's a creator. It, though. it makes sense from when you look around. That Without any doubt. There is, you know, there is an intelligence uh, designer behind it. Yeah. Without any but, doubt. Like I said to you, there's a lot of noise and randomness as well. Well, we explain to you that, this one. That sometimes. Top, top. Let me help you with this. Yeah, the way to explain to you this, in order for you to understand, look, we cannot comprehend everything within the universe. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. But okay. So, for example, doesn't mean because we cannot understand something, therefore that negates or somehow go and guess the existence of the Creator. Hmm. I'll give you an example to make it clear to you. Imagine you and I. We see someone from far away cutting off someone's forearm. 
what are you going to say? This man must be crazy. Yeah. He's a barbaric man. He's a, he's a, he's a mental man. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing, you and I, we are judging this person's action from outside, from correct? From yeah. far away. Yeah. When we get closer to him, say, oh, barbaric man, oh, crazy man. Why are you cutting the person's forearm? Say, no, hold on, you two. I'm a doctor. He has a, he has a deadly disease in his forearm. Mm. If I leave the disease, go to his body, mm. will cause him to die. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm saving his life. Mm -hmm. What is he now? Good yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So from yeah. outside, we misjudge. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying that doesn't mean because there's certain things occur in the universe, mm. therefore go and guess God's existence. Mm. What it, what mainly it means that we cannot comprehend everything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. no way for us to comprehend everything yeah. because that is God, who the one who knows everything. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Does it make sense? That, that makes sense. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. what, we work, what we work with top, that clearly this universe must have a creator. You see what I'm saying? And the mm. proof that this Prophet Muhammad, who if he was just only human being, how come the prophecies that he said is occurring right now? How come a book that he came with had been memorized by hundreds of millions of people? How come all of this? So when you put all this together, it gives you certainty that without any doubt, what Prophet Muhammad came is the truth. What do you think about what he said? <laughs> I, mean, I like that big smile. Yeah. I, still, I still think... Uh... I still think that, yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff you're saying makes a lot of sense, yeah? yeah? When you look around you, it's, it's very uh, it's very hard to argue. To argue and guess yeah, without but, any doubt. but, you know, I've lived long enough and I've seen a lot in the world. Yeah. To notice other things, yeah. you know, that you can't discount and just think that it's, you Such know. As? Well, I just explained randomness, you know. No, but we explained, explained that already. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I explained randomness, like, you know, and also the fact that, you know, if, if, if God is the way he is, yeah. the way you say God is, yeah. he should be efficient in the way he's able to transmit the knowledge. You see what you're doing, Tap, now? You are across the world. Because you, you know, Tap, what you're doing? You are dictating. Yeah, maybe. You are dictating to God. But hear me out, Who is wiser, you or God? Uh, well, I, I can't, if, if God exists. If yeah. God were wiser. Because yeah. what, what, Tap, what you have to understand, you're going to come along and say, you know what? Why God does not do that? Another person will come and say, no, no, I think God should do that. Another person will come and say, no, God should do that. So God become what? A voting thing now. We have to vote what God should do. No. We don't dictate to God what it does. The fact that we can see this tremendous creation of God, therefore what we do, we, as, that's what Islam, what Islam means, means submission. But not, any sub, not a blind submission, submission that is based upon tangible proofs that the Creator is the all-wise. There was one scholar called Ibn al-Jawzi. He mentioned a good point. He said, top what he said, he said, without any doubt, you're going to come, like you said, through your life, you're gonna come across certain things which are gonna think, why this happened? Mm. Why that happened? Yeah. But that doesn't mean because we don't understand it, therefore there's something wrong with it. Because we as a Muslim, we work with what? That we can establish clearly as Allah, Allah is the all wise. Mm. Therefore, whatever it does, there's wisdom behind it. Sometimes we know, sometimes we don't know. Let me make it more clearer. Okay, I'm sorry for taking your time, Tab. Cool. Yeah? Cool. There was a story, it's been mentioned about the Israelites, okay? They said one of the prophets, I think it was Moses, yeah, it was narrated by one of the Andalusian scholars. So this prophet said to, to God, oh God, I see some things in the universe, or, or, in the creation, doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. So God said to him, stay behind the tree and watch. So a man came with his, with his horse to drink from the water. While he's drinking, he dropped his money, bag of money, okay? So he walks off, a young boy came after, straight away after. So he was drinking from the water and he found the bag of money and he took the money and he left. Then after that young boy, an old man came who was a blind man. He drank from the water. The first man with the horse, he remembered he dropped the money. So when he came back, he found who? The old man, the blind man. Mm. He said, where is my money? Mm. The blind said, I'm a blind, I can't find it. Mm. He said, no, give me my money. He said, I, I don't know it. He pulled out the sword and he cut off his head. Wow. The so, blind man's The head. blind man. Wow. So the one who never took money, he's been killed. Mm. The one who took money walks free. Mm. Mm. So this prophet, he said, oh God, I'm more confused now. The one who should not be killed, he's been killed. The one who, uh, uh, the one who done the crime, he left. Mm. Then God revealed to him. He said, you know the man with the horse and the, the child, yeah. the young boy, the young boy's father was working for him. And he never paid him for his work and he died. So that money, is, that's his right. Mm, mm, mm. The blind man, he killed the father of the man with the horse. Mm. 
So everyone took what mm. he deserves. Mm, 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 mm. Justice. Mm, mm, mm. That is clearer than anything else. Mm, mm, mm. You see what I'm saying? That shows you what? Sometimes we can see things in the creation which you think there is oppression in there. There's injustice. Mm. No, there is not. God is the most just. Uh. That picture is so clear. <laughs> anyway, what well, we hope, think about it. Yeah. Because, you know, if you travel, have you been in um, Jamaica before? No, no. 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 If, you, if you want to go to Jamaica, what would you do first? You study about it, correct? If it's a yeah. safe country, is a cold country, yeah. is a hot country, you will not say, you know what, when I get there, I will come to know. Mm -hmm. Likewise, one day we have to live this life. Yeah. Think about it, why we have to die. What was going to happen to us, you understand? I don't know if any brother has a leaflet we can give to our, to no. top. Or, uh, do you have a leaflet, something? All right, let, let me, let, can I give you a website that yeah, you please? Sure, sure, uh, yeah. well, can we exchange numbers? Yeah, take, yeah, yeah please. Sure. Uh, let, let me take his number. Uh, let me take your number, please, Tap. Yeah, sure. And take my number. It was, it was a pleasure talking to you, yeah. you know, and uh, maybe we'll carry on from, uh, you know. Don't worry, I'm not going to bombard you with some Islamic uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> But where are you from? You're from around here? South London. Oh, South London. Where about? Lewisham? Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. People probably should have given the numbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah just say, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, put your uh, number here. Yeah, sure. Put your number here. I'll put my number here for you. Yeah. 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 That's my number, yeah. Tap, yeah. Shamsi, S-H. Shamsi, okay. Yeah. It was on YouTube anyway, essentially. It should be actually.